Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in once again to the 11th annual Little Bit Foundation Join the Journey Gala here. And uh, once again, this is the biggest group. I'm sure you can tell you're making some friends. Everybody's elbow to elbow. We're having a good time here. I, I do want to thank again our, our uh, sponsor, uh, Kneehaus Building Services, uh, for, for sponsoring this event. Thank you very much. We have a lot of other sponsors, too, uh, that we will get to here shortly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brad Thompson. I'll be serving as your MC this evening. And, uh, oh, thank you. That's my table there. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I know it's very cliche to say it, it's an honor to be here. Anytime you go to a charity event, uh, of course, the MC is going to say it's an honor. Nobody says that they're upset to be somewhere. But I will tell you this. It truly is an honor because I've had an opportunity to see firsthand what the Little Bit Foundation does and the lives that the foundation impacts. And i got to tell you this, guys. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away with this what this foundation does. And I'm so excited about this evening and being here with you guys and uh, celebrating, hopefully raising a lot of funds for the Little Bit Foundation. Real quick, I, I just want to, uh, I want to take you through my journey with the Little Bit Foundation. I was asked to do this event, to emcee this event and uh, talk through it and say, look, uh, you know, let's see, Let, let's see what, uh, what the Little Bit Foundation is all about. So I got to go to the foundation. I got to see the inner workings of it. I got an opportunity to meet the staff and meet the volunteers. And one thing that I really noticed with the Little Bit Foundation is the passion and the compassion that goes into all the work at the Little Bit Foundation. And uh, I got to see the inner workings of it. Like I said, I got to see how the foundation works. I got to see how these needs for the children in the community are filled. And uh, I got to see kind of how like a, a, a care package is sent to an individual child. And I got to watch it fill up. And it was, you know, this kid needs a couple of, uh, a couple of school uniforms. He needs a pair of shoes. He needs socks. He needs underwear. These are, these are basic things. And, and while I'm watching this process happen, I think to myself, I get it. Like, there, there is a need. There is a real need. And this package here has his name on it, has the school, has his age. And it goes in this bin. And this bin is full, full of kids just like this one that I just watched this package be made for. And at that moment, I thought to myself, man, I, I understand. I get the need that's out there. I understand what the Little Bit Foundation is all about and, and who they are serving. But then... I had a chance to follow that bin. I had a chance to go to the same school that these packages were going to. I got a chance to see not just a package with a kid's name on it. I got to see that kid open it. I got to see these kids try on their new school uniforms. I got to see kids try on a pair of shoes uh, that uh, you'd think it, it was Christmas Day, got the biggest thing ever. And that's when I got it. That's when I understood what the Little Bit Foundation was all about. I got to see these kids and the relationship that they have with the staff, the volunteers of the foundation, the smiles that were in the room. And to me, that's why it was so special. The, these kids' joy from the need that uh, the, they had needs, simple needs were provided by the Little Bit Foundation. And they were so happy about it. And I, I just want you to think to yourself real quick, when was the last time you needed something? Like truly needed something. Like I use that word all the time. We all do. We're guilty of it, right? I'm at work and I'm tired. Man, I need a coffee. I was walking up here. I'm a little nervous being in front of all of you. I thought to myself, God, I need a drink badly. Uh, but, it, right? This area, I can tell. Uh, but need, uh, I, I realized after visiting the school and being around the foundation, I, I don't have need. But these kids do. And, and that's why we're here tonight. And that's why the Little Bit Foundation is so special, because they're meeting needs. These kids need a pair of shoes that's not two sizes too small. These kids need a coat when uh, it, it's cold outside. These kids need a smile. These kids need a conversation. These kids need compassion. And that's exactly what the Little Bit Foundation is all about. So uh, I'm excited once again to be here tonight. We're going to have a great evening. We're going to raise a lot of money for an incredible foundation. 
Uh, and thank you for being here. Once again, the largest crowd that the Join the Journey Gala has ever had. So thank you all for being here. Thank you. Real quick, I want to take a minute to recognize some of our sponsors here, and I, I might not get to all of them, and hopefully through the evening I do, but I do once again want to take a chance to recognize and thank you our presenting sponsor, Kneehaus Building Services. Thank you so much. Uh, property Assessment Review, Post, Edward Jones, MyTech, Marketing Plus, Playco, the Suntrup Automotive Group, United Bags, Inc., Matter Family Office, Siler Family Foundation, Bio Rankings. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to get to many more. Thank you all. Seriously, what the Little Bit Foundation does is not possible without you. And, and thank you so much. I also want to take this time uh, to recognize and give a special thanks to our Join the Journey Committee, led by the 2017 chairs, GP and Jennifer Boyer, Amy and Drew Shank, and Tom and Linda Valvo, thank you so much for making this evening so special. Now, I gave you guys a, a quick little glimpse, and if you uh, catch me in the foyer after this and want to talk to me about my trip to the school, I'll talk to you about it all night because I, I loved it and it warmed my heart in, in a way that I didn't know it could be warm. But uh, that was my journey. I want you guys for a second, we're, we're going to have a brief video here. Pay attention to the screens here, and I told you about my journey. This is uh, the, the uh, outlook of the Little Bit Foundation from a gentleman that uh, a lot of you guys know very well. This is Dr. Fields uh, talking about the Little Bit Foundation. Please give it a look. Actually, growing up, we're in front of the house uh, that I was raised in, 1859 Andros, um, right across the street from Coke Elementary School. Um, growing up here was a fantastic experience. Um, we played a lot of basketball, um, had a lot of fun outside until the street lights come on, of course. Um, so a lot of memories here. When I was still working in the community, most of the challenges, um, similarly with the standpoint of um, transient population, we still had a lot of families that would come in and leave in unorthodox times. In addition to that, um, just continuing to learn and we had a higher population of free and reduced lunch um, students um, now compared to then. So everything that entails that really challenges rather than impact our students with the learning. So one of my first goals, um, once I became the principal at Coke Elementary School, it was more or less to provide evidence of learning, making sure our scholars knew exactly how bright they were, and to choose a platform for them to excel. We were able to show in my time here that our scholars are just as smart as anyone else in St. Louis, as well as the state of Missouri. Dr. Fields, I'm so happy to be able to meet with you. And I was just wondering if you could share with me what it meant to you to have a little bit at Coke Elementary School. Well, to have a little bit at Coke, it meant a lot um, for us, um, to us, for our community. Most importantly, it helped us spend more time on instruction. Um, if you recall, we were trying to do something. Um, so we had teachers bringing items in. Um, we were trying to do a lot of different things, but what it took away from was instructional time. A little bit really allowed myself, counselors, teachers, spend more time on instruction. And when Little Bit came in, it wasn't just supporting our scholars. They had an opportunity to build those relationships, ask those questions, uh, redirect the conversation back to school. So for the future of our community, in addition to what Little Bit is doing, I would just ask that they continue to build those relationships with our students. I think it's paramount. It will help our students continue to believe in themselves and also help our students see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. For me, Believe in Better, that's a perfect slogan or motto for this year. If you were called when I was with Little Bit and I got a chance to speak, and it was just that next step, and I put it on the spot, I said, we need some assistance with science. I said, science at Coke Elementary School, we are really struggling. We can do so much better. So after that conversation, a number of um, individuals associated with Little Bit, they came, they assisted, they provided us with um, Legos, provided us with 
connections with other um, advisors and professors in other colleges. And I'm happy to say, um, as I just left Coke Elementary School, we started as the lowest in science. We are the highest performing elementary school in Riverview Gardens in science. And I believe in a lot of things, but I know that would not have been possible without the connection with Little Bit. So as we talk about believing better, Little Bit, they are way bigger than the organization that will provide items for students, but they continue to represent what's possible in the classroom. And I think for that, I will always be grateful for Little Bit. Little Bit's big dreams for the future of St. Louis is that every child, every child, in our city, in North County, anywhere that they live, has the opportunity to, to an education, to a good education. Um, we believe that through education, communities are stronger. If we all work together, that's our future. Our children are our future. So I just want everyone to know that there is a place here at Little Bit for all of you. Bring your talents, bring your hearts, Let's make a difference in St. Louis. Thanks. The Little Bit Foundation is truly changing lives, and, and it's so easy to like say something like that, but when you see it, and like I, I was telling you guys a, a minute ago, I thought, I thought I knew, like I thought I knew when I went to the website doing a little research about the Little Bit Foundation. Uh, I thought I knew when I went into the warehouse and just seeing, just seeing where this stuff was going and realizing that there is a, a need in the community, uh, but I didn't know until I saw it. I saw the faces, I saw the joy, uh, and that's something special. By the way, the school that I went to was, I mean, th by the way, we're in a beautiful venue, are we not? Four seasons, this, this is beautiful. I mean, it, it is unbelievable, this is as nice as it gets. The school I went to, I'd say tops five minutes away, maybe five minutes. And I guarantee you on the way to that school, we probably passed three or four just like it. And, and that is the need in our community. It is true. And I just, uh, I thank God that there's somebody out there like the Little Bit Foundation that is helping and, and people like you that are helping. So once again, thank you. Thank you so much for, for, for being here. Uh, I did give a thank you to uh, a few of our sponsors. I do want to be able to uh, get a few more in because uh, once again, what the Little Bit Foundation does is not possible without your backing, without your help. And you see here watching a video, you'll hear more about it this evening. Once again, what you're doing is providing opportunity. What you're doing is providing education. What you're doing is letting kids be kids. And uh, I want to thank Worldwide Technology. Thank you very much. Scott Trade, Express Scripts, Merrill Lynch, the Church Ver Verholz Group, RGA, GCP Applied Technologies, Two Men in a Truck, Brian and Beth Walker, thank you very much, the Rivera Family, Crane Fund for Widows and Children, Rick and Mimi Fister, thank you, Lockton, the Clayton Financial Group, Crown Packaging Corporation, Crane, Clicks, Crescent, on Time Toner, Bob and Sarah Reef, thank you all so much. And I did want to take this opportunity quickly. Some of you may have heard about this uh, because if uh, we got any sports fans here? Oh, good. Yeah, me too. Me too. Big time sports fans. Uh, this is going to be a touchy question. We got any Rams fans in here? All right. All right. No, that's kind of what I expected. That's, that's kind of what I expected. Now, th this will tell me if you heard this news or, or not. Do we have any Chris Long fans in here? I think most of you have heard this news. I got a feeling. Uh, Chris Long used to play for the Rams, for those of you who don't know. Currently plays for the Eagles. Chris Long has a foundation. He's got his own Chris Long Foundation, but he also is doing something that's called Pledge 10 for Tomorrow. And what Chris is doing is providing 
uh, every game check, so the 10 that he's talking about, Pledge 10 is 10 game checks that's going to charities in places where he played. And $100,000 is being donated to the Little Bit Foundation here in St. Louis. So that is, uh, that is pretty special, man. I, I don't know how many of you guys would do your job for free for a year, but that's exactly what Chris Long is doing. You can check out Pledge 10 for tomorrow. Just Google it. Always go to littlebitfoundation.org, uh, and you can find out more uh, about it. But it, it is really special. So thank you again to all the sponsors. Uh, and so I told you guys about my trip, right? I went to the school, and I got to see it. What I forgot to tell you about my trip to the school is I had a chauffeur, pretty fancy, you know? I had a driver to the school, and my driver, actually you saw her on that video, my driver was Rosemary Hanley. And she drove me to the school, and I'll tell you this, in a few minute drive with Rose, I learned so much about her. I learned that she loves to keep her blinker on for a really long time. I love that if you are trying to follow her to an event, Mike Amon learned this, she'll, she'll lose you three or four times. But I also learned the biggest takeaway was Rose has a true passion for this. Like this foundation, these kids, just hearing her talk about it, uh, like made me, almost, I, like I made sure she didn't notice, like allergy season, but it made me tear up, like a little bit in the car on the way to the school. So. I'm honored right now to bring up for a, uh, for a very special, special speech here, the executive director and the co-founder of the Little Bit Foundation, Rosemary Hanley. Rosemary, please. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I've been told, don't move your feet too much. Stand up straight and be confident. <laughs> so I will. So, hello, beautiful people. Right? Look at all of you. Look at you. Look at your hearts. Look at why you're here. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about why I believe in better, which is our, our um, topic tonight. First day of school, I got to go with Aaron Lee to Columbia Elementary School. And I was really excited to be there. And as I'm walking in, there was a um, poem on the front door and I took a picture of it, and I've been looking at it ever since, and I want to read it to you. It, said that, um, it was written by Joshua Dickerson, and the title is Because I Don't Have a Pencil. And this could have been written by so many of our kids. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. Um, I woke up by myself because I don't have an alarm clock. I dug through the dirty clothes, because nobody washed my clothes. I brushed my hair and my teeth in the dark because the lights weren't on. I even got my baby sister up because my mama wasn't home. I got us both to school on time so we could eat a good breakfast. And then when I got to class, my teacher fussed at me because I didn't have a pencil. It's hard to imagine as we sit here tonight in this amazing room with this amazing meal that there are kids, as Brad said, just blocks away that don't have a pencil. It's hard to imagine that in our city, just a few blocks away, there are children that don't have shoes, coats, medical care, eyeglasses, and kids that are gonna go to bed hungry tonight. 
and they're going to wake up hungry. One of our schools has 63% homeless students in our city. It's kind of hard to believe. So I know there's a lot of problems in our city. And I know that there's so much that we want to fix in our community. And sometimes it gets overwhelming. But there's something I keep going back to. I keep going back to that little boy who I fell in love with, who didn't have a coat. And I thought to myself at that time, I can't change the world, but I can do something about this. I keep going back to that. I fell in love with him. And I think we all can do a little bit, right? We all can do a little better. A little bit, person by person. We have to believe we can make a difference. And I believe this with all my heart. And I got to tell you why I believe it so strongly. Because I am the lucky person that gets to see it happen every day. I am the person who sees my staff work tirelessly every week to make sure our kids have what they need. If you're a staff member, will you raise your hand? Thank you. I'm the lucky person who has the most unbelievable board behind her who helps lead this organization and make tough decisions and helps me grow a little bit. If you're a board member, can you please raise your hand? Hey, Tamia. Thank you. I'm the person who gets to watch hundreds, hundreds of volunteers every week give their time and love children. If you're a volunteer, will you raise your hand? I'm telling you, this group is the most beautiful, amazing group you will ever want to meet. And you know, I see it in so many people who support us in different ways. And I have to call out a few of you. And I hope I don't embarrass you. But I see it in Jim Sowers, who's here tonight. And I, I, have to, I have to draw attention to him because he gave us free warehouse space and free office space for four years. So let me, let me put that into context for you. When we started in that office space in Marcone, we were serving 3,600 kids. When we left, we were serving 7,000 children. Jim, thank you. I also want to call attention to Jim, um, Bill Shannon. Bill Shannon, who is the president and owner of BioRankings. And Bill learned about a little bit, and he said, you know, what about if I help you with your data? I was like, help us with our data. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. So Jim helps us tell a stronger story. He analyzes, analyzes our data. He helps us show that when little bits in a school, attendance increases, behavioral health problems decrease, and we're hoping for a higher academic achievement. Bill, thank you. So I don't know, oh, there you are. I want to um, also call out Carol, and she calls herself Crazy Carol. But you know what I call her? Carol with the hugest heart ever. Because this volunteer comes to Little Bit, and there is not a job that is too small or too big for her. She will take laundry home, she will fill orders, she will give you a hug, and she'll ask you what you need. Carol, thank you, sweetheart. I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful people around Little Bit. 
And then I want to call out Stacy Clark, who's sitting at my table tonight. And he is a volunteer um, at Coke Elementary School. He, that was the school that was featured on the video. And Stacy goes there every week, and he helps a little bit, and he says people want him to volunteer for them, and he's like, I like what I do for a little bit. I'm like, yeah, you better not go anywhere. Um, but he takes it a step far further. He has become a mentor for students, and he just told me that there was a little boy who was being bullied, and the little boy stuck up for himself. And he was going to be suspended. And Stacy went to the principal and said, no, let me give this little boy some time. Let me spend time with him. Let me help him learn how to behave. So Stacy, thank you. Thank you for going beyond. And then every day that I turn on to Hanley Industrial Court and I see the banner outside our new building and I am floored because so many people believed in Little Bit and helped us get that building. And so many of you are here tonight. Thank you so much for everything. So we just need to believe in ourselves and we just need to believe in doing better. And then I ask myself, how am I gonna do better? So Maya Angelou said, and I wanna quote her, I did then what I knew how to do, and now that I know better, I do better. So I know students that lack access to basic necessities, who don't have food, who struggle with school attendance and behavioral health problems. They, that impacts their ability to graduate. The fact proves that children who do not read proficiently by third grade, four times are less likely to leave school. 13% of students with chronic absenteeism by sixth grade graduate, do not graduate on time. Sixth graders with a failing mark in classroom behavior had only 10% chance of graduating in four years. So these are all stats that are lined up against them. So Little Bit Foundation decided to take a huge loop, a, a, a huge leap. This year, we're adopting a whole school district from R Riverview Gardens, and it's called Project Graduation. It's a big deal. So Project Graduation aims to improve high school graduation rates in Riverview Gardens, addressing students' fundamental physical and emotional needs throughout their educational journey. There's 5,400 students in that district. We work to help the district meet or surpass high school graduation rates, to close the achievement gap to, for the underrepresented students, and graduate students who are ready for college, or ready for the military, or ready for a career. More healthy, productive adults. We're gonna stay with our students from preschool all the way from high school. And it's a huge loop, a huge leap of faith. And I know it's gonna take a lot of volunteers and a lot of resources. And I have to tell you, when we signed up for this, I had to take a deep breath. But I believe. I believe in our city. I believe in our beautiful kids. And I believe we can do better for them. Education is the key to a better life. You know, if a child doesn't graduate from high school, they're going to make $7,000 less than a child who does graduate from high school. And there's a lot of health factors that go along with not graduating from high school too. There's one analysis that suggests if everyone got an education that completed college, it would save more lives than all the medical advances in the last 20 years combined. That's huge, just think about that. 
I want a better future for our kids. I want a better future for our city. And I believe, I really believe we can change the narrative of our city. I believe that we can be the city that believes in their children, takes care of them, and makes sure they get an education. So when we were moving into our new space, and it's an amazing space, it's on Hanley um, Industrial Road, in Hanley Industrial Court, it just didn't feel like home for a little while. I couldn't understand why it didn't feel good. And it's a beautiful building, and we are going to help so many kids out of this building. But something just didn't feel right until one thing happened. Right, Luz? What do we do? We put up the, the pictures of our kids. We put them everywhere. And I have to tell you, I could not believe how much I realized we were missing them because they are the heartbeat of who we are. That's why we're here. That's why we open our arms and our hearts to each other and we keep our kids in the middle. We want better for them and we want better for our city. We are creating a swell in St. Louis, coming together, keeping the child in the middle and believing that our city will do better for our kids. I want to show you what we did last year, our report card. I think it's going to go up, up on the screen. And I'm not going to dive into this too much. But the magnitude of what Little Bit is doing is breathtaking. So since, Saint, since Little Bit has been working with the St. Louis Public Schools, they have become accredited. We have been with them for 16 years. I know. Riverview Gardens is provisionally accredited. And I just want to point out a few things up on this card. We gave out close to 50,000 books last year to students who don't have at-home libraries. 8,300 hours of volunteers. Unbelievable army of volunteers around Little Bit. And we delivered over 138,000 pounds of nutritious food to St. Louis students. I mean, that is crazy. So let me kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. That's like five moving vans full of food. That's unbelievable. So I want to just tell you a few stories because it's all about us coming together with the child in the middle. And I could tell a million stories, but there's just two I want to tell. Chris Mees, she couldn't be here tonight, but last year she um, met a little boy named Wiley. And Wiley just seemed a little slow. He was really thin. His skin was ashen and his lips were chapped. And she could not get him out of her mind. And she came back to Little Bit, and she spoke with Aaron Lee. And she told Aaron about this little boy. And Aaron said, I think he may be malnourished. I think we may need to get him some extra help. Well, we had just gone through a class to learn about hunger. And Operation Food Search taught us this. Thank you, Aaron, right? Aaron, um, Ashley called the school. The school got right on it and made sure that child and that family had the food that they needed to go through the rough spot so that they would be taken care of. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a swell. It's not one person. It's many people and many agencies, and it's all come together for the betterment of the child. That's what's happening here at Little Bit. That's what's happening in St. Louis. I want to tell you one more story. Jamie Monty, who is a new staff member at Little Bit. And yay, Jane. I guess you're over there. So she went to a school, and she ran back in, and she was out of breath. And she started telling me about a story about a little boy who was hiding his shoes behind his chair because he was embarrassed. And she said, I didn't want to embarrass him. And I walked up, and I started talking to him like, hey, those shoes have really had some mileage on them. I've done that before, too. It was all about the dignity of the child. 
It was all about him and how he felt, not about how we felt. And she found out when she was in front of him that he needed more than shoes. He needed clothing. He needed a backpack. He needed a coat. She ran back to Little Bit. I happened to be in the warehouse. I got to pick out stuff for him. We spent so much time thinking about what he would like, what the clothes would, what clothes he would like, what shoes from Fila, because people like Fila, companies like Fila give us our f shoes at cost. It's the swelling. And then we were getting down to the backpack, and she's like, which backpack would he like? And we couldn't decide. And I'm like, break the rule, take two, don't tell anybody, right? <laughs> That's what I can do. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. And um, she told me when she came back, he put on his shoes and he stood up straight and he was happy and he felt confident. But he didn't know if he should wear the shoes because he didn't want to get them dirty. And know what she said? We're not going anywhere. We are here. When you grow out of these shoes, and if you don't have them, we will be here for you. Because that's what Little Bit is about. We are not going anywhere. We're here for the long haul. And then she showed him the two backpacks, and he grabbed one, grabbed one and hugged it like it was a baby. And it's the one that I thought he should have, of course. <laughs> So life is good. Thanks, Jamie. So I just, I just want, so I don't know how many of you have been at our building, but there's a sign that goes into the warehouse, and it says, this is where the love begins. And you know what? I, that may sound corny to all of you, but I believe it is all about love. I believe it from the bottom of my heart. And we, when we come together for our kids, we are all loving better. We are all doing better. Now that we know better, I know we're going to do better. Little by little, person by person, child by child. I want to thank all of you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people for being here tonight. I want to thank you for our kids, and I want to tell you that I love you. I love every single one of you. And this, too, is where the love begins. It begins with all of you. Thank you. Let's hear it for Rose. Are you kidding me with that? Wow. Oh, you saw that report card up there. I, I got a feeling, with your help, that we can blow those numbers out of the water. And as Rose said, man, kids, kids will grow out of shoes, right? None of us grow out of love. And that, that, is, uh, that is big. That is really big. Hey, do you guys, uh, anybody here like music? Yeah, anybody? Good, because I wrote a piece, and uh, I saw there was a piano here, and I was thinking about performing, and then I found out, I found out we actually have some real talent here. So I am going to put my mind uh, away, and uh, I guess I'll perform next time, because we have a special performance here. I, I love to bring up the Marion Middle School Choir, led by Eleanor Humphrey and Charlotte Brown, they're going to be performing for us, and this is going to be special. Thank you. Let's get a round of applause for the choir.
song banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can beat the war. You can talk to God, go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock. You can move a mountain, you can break rocks. You can be a master, don't wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you will find yourself standing in the hall. Give it up for the Marion Middle School Choir. If you didn't get goosebumps listening to that, you listened wrong. I'll tell you that right now. My goodness. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And I apologize once again. I'll save my performance for next year. I don't think it's going to be as good as that. That was, uh, that was incredible. Thank you once again to the Marion Middle School Choir. All right, now is time. We, we've heard uh, a lot about what the foundation has been doing and, and all the great things that are going on. Well, here's how we're doing it. We are raising some funds. We are having a great time, and we have got some awesome vacations. This is a great time to point out, by the way, that my wife and I are a great time on a vacation. Just throwing it out there, all right? Because it is time now to do our live auction, and I want to bring up Bob Sheets. Bob is on the board of directors here. He's the vice president of Central Region Sales at Southern Graphic Systems. 
Bob is going to be helping us out with this live auction here. Hey, this is important right here. This is big. I know we're all excited. We're all having our drinks. We're heading to the bar. This is big right here. Listen up. Bob, thank you. Thank you. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. This is why we're here is to raise some money. The paddles are in the middle of your table. Reach out. You'll find your paddle. You'll find your number. Your name's on the back. Raise it often. Let's Ra just see your paddles really fast so we know you have them. I see one. Write these down. All right. Write them down. Yeah. yeah. 249 gets one. 132 gets one. 415 gets one. 334, 401. I can All right, can now we know see. you got them. All right. I know some people will have to go to the bar. We have nine items, only nine items. There will be four on your list tonight that are group items. Talk amongst your table. Look ahead. Read ahead. There are some chances to pool your table for a trip for four. We've got some great items. We're going to read them, and then I'm going to start the bidding. We'll give you the detail as best we can. I am not a professional, so I'm going to ask you to keep your paddle up until I call your number and acknowledge you. If you can help me, I'll help you. We'll raise a lot of money for a little bit. All right, here we go with the first item. Whoops, not yet. Question. Everybody got the hang of it? Everybody got a paddle? Hey, and by the way, make sure you don't grab your partner's paddle. I've actually done this before at an event, and I ended up paying a lot for somebody else, so my bad on that. Get your own paddle, is what we're saying. All right. Right, Bob? Yeah, get your... That's right. Yeah, we do not have a paddle, because we'd get in a bidding war on some of That's these. That's right. All right, why don't you lead us out with the first one. Here's the first item tonight. It's Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Kick up your boots and saddle up for a great time in the beautiful state capital of Texas. Don't miss out. It's a three-night stay at the Fairmont Austin. Tons of amenities. If you haven't been to Austin before, you're missing out. Let's start the bidding here, Bob. All right, it's not just the capital of Texas. We have an opening bid. I was going to ask for 800 Will you give me an opening bid of 800? I have 800, 800 looking for nine. 800 looking for, I have two at nine. How about, I lost it. All right, I have 900, I'm looking for 1,000. I have 1,000 looking for 1,200. Let's move faster. 1,200, I have 12. How about 15? Looking for 15, I have 15 in the back. Looking for 17. I have 15 in the back looking for 17. 15 looking for 17. How about 15 looking for 16? Country music right down the street, everything you want. We have South by Southwest. I have 1,500. I'm looking for 16. 16 right here, looking for 17. 17 in the back, how about 18? 17 looking for 18, 18 right here. I have 18, can I see your number, for, sir? Turn that around. I have 18 from number 180. I have 18 looking for 19. I have 19 here in front looking for 2,000. Let's hit the 2,000 mark. 1,900, 2,000, thank you. How about 2,200? 2,000 looking for 22. 2,000 looking for 21. I have 2,000 looking for 2,100. Just a reminder, I the have package 21. includes thank you. airfare, 21 looking Airlines. for 22. 21, thank you, 22. How about 23? Looking for 23. 23 in the back. I have 22, thank you, 23, by number 468. Looking for 25, 2300, 25 right here. Looking for 27, 25 going to 27. 25 is the standing bid. I have $2,500. How about 26? 26, a new bidder in the game. 26 looking for 27. How about 27? 26 in the back. Hey, Michael, I saw your number up in the back. I have 2600, are you still in this game? 26 over here is the bid. Do I have 27? Thank you. 2,700. How about 28? 27 in the front, looking for 28 in the back. 2,700. This is a for steal, Austin, Bob. Texas. South by Southwest. You have Lake Travis. You have Lake Austin. I have 28. 28, looking for 29. 28, looking for 29. 28, going once, going twice. So, 29. All right, he jumps Whoa! back in. Boom, right at the end. 2,900, looking for 3,000. 2,900, looking for three. Make it a round it's number. It's $100, 2,900, looking for 3,000. How about 3,000? 2,900, going once, going twice. 
sold for 2,900. Your number again, sir, thank you, 336. Very nice, thank you, sir. All right, our next vacation, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Anybody ever been there? It's pretty darn nice. Let your hair down and turn your clock to island time. This is a uh, palm-studded beaches, tropical paradise, serenity of the now onyx Punta Cana Resort and Spa in the Dominican Republic, where you will enjoy a three-night stay for two adults in a junior suite garden view accommodations once again. Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I know you want to get out of town. I know you want kids you're trying to get away from. Punta Cana might be your place. All inclusive. This is all inclusive. Three night stay for two. With air. I have somebody waving. I was going to ask for an opening bid of a thousand, and I have it. I have a thousand looking for fifteen hundred. One thousand looking for fifteen hundred. I have fifteen hundred in the back looking for two thousand. Fifteen hundred. I have two up front. Two thousand looking for twenty five. 2,000 looking for 2,500. 2,500 over here, thank you very much. 2,500 looking for 3,000. 2,500 looking for three. 25 looking for three. How about 25 looking for 28? 2,500, 28, thank you. 28 now looking for three. I have 2,800 looking for 3,000. 2,800 is the bid, how about three? 3,000, I have 2,800 here. 28, he wants it. You can lounge at the pool, you can do zip line, you can do anything in Punta Cana. Enjoy all right. yourself. All inclusive includes airfare. I have 2,800 is the bid. 2,800 going once. 2,800 going twice. Sold for 2,800. Congratulations. Can I see 334? Three, Thank you. All right, our third trip is to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And if you haven't been to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, just know this, it's beautiful any time of the year. You can breathe in that crisp mountain air while taking in the marvels of the nature, natural beauty that surrounds this alpine resort offering the perfect mix. You got rustic adventure, luxury accommodations. It's a five night stay at the Four Seasons. You ever been to one of those? They're pretty nice. At the Four Seasons in a resort king room surrounded by the breathtaking vistas of the Grand Tetons and the teeming, and teeming with an inspiring array of wildlife. It's Jackson Hole, Wyoming, five days at the Four Seasons. All right, I'm coming out on the floor to get everybody's attention. If I could hear you, we only have nine items. This is gonna go fast, but if I could ask for a little quiet, get some help, I would greatly appreciate it. I am not a professional, but I am about to auction off Jackson Hole, skiing, hiking, in five days. This is a week, this is not a three night stay, this is a five night stay. Who will open us up at $2,000? I have plenty, how about three? I have two looking for three, 2,000 looking for 2,500. 2,500, all right, I have 2,500 looking for three. I have three up front, a couple of them. How about 35? 3,000 looking for 35, thank you. Four, 4,000, 35 in the back. I'm looking for 4,000, thank you in the back. New bidder, 4,000 in the back, looking for 4,500. 45, looking for five, 45 looking for five. Thank you, I have 5,000 looking for 5,500. 5,000 for Jackson Hole is the bid, looking for 5,500. 5,000, going once, going to, I have 5,500. 55, looking for 6,000. Come on, 6,000. 5,500, looking for 6,000, come on. 55, I have 55 in the back, looking for six. We got I it over here. Six. Thank you very much, thanks for your help, it's tough to see. 6,000 is the bid, looking for 6,500. 6,000, looking for 65. I Remember have 6, where this 000. cash is going, you know exactly where it's going. Little bit foundation. Six We're at 6,000. 6,000 looking for 65. Do I have 65? 6,000. How about 6,200? I'll bring it down a little bit. Anybody want in for 62? 6,000 is a bid. Going once. Going twice. Sold for $6,000. Thank you Thank very you. much. Bob, what was the bid number on that? Three. 380. 380, 380. All right, next up, if you have missed out on these last ones, maybe this is the one for you. Anybody like Mexico, Los Cabos, Mexico. Now, 
This is going to be a very interesting trip because you get kind of the best of both worlds. You can go from cobblestone streets and intimate restaurants and the other side of the island, as many of you know, Party Central. So with this one, you get a three-night stay for two adults at Secrets Puerto Los Cabos Golf and Spa Resort in a junior suite with an ocean view, as well as a three-night stay for two adults at the Grand Villas Los Cabos in an ambassador suite with ocean view accommodations. Two different places, one great time. All right, two places. So here's how you can look at this. Two couples can go and just be blocks away on the same three-day weekend. How many, show of, show of hands, how many have been to Cabo? Show of hands, all right. If you have your paddle now, put that in your hand. So you know you can only last three nights in there. It will kick your ass. So. <laughs> You can go two times or take another couple, stay close by, Los Cabos, Mexico, all-inclusive, golf, beach. Who will open this up with a bit of $2,000? A bit of $2,000. Thank you very much. $2,000 looking for $2,500. $2,000, thank you. $25 looking for three. I have $25, I have three. Three looking for four. Three looking for four. I have $4,000 in the back. Four looking for five. Four looking for five. 5,000 up front. Five looking for six. I have five up front. Six, 6,000 in back. I have 6,000 in back looking for seven. Six looking for seven. Six looking for 6,500. I have 6,000. How about 6,500? Split it with your friends. This is going to be fun. 6,000 looking for 6,500. How about 62? 6,000 looking for 62. I have 6,000 in the back. 6,000 looking for 62. 6,000 going once. Going twice, sold for six thousand dollars. Thank you, two nine six. Thank you very much. All right, our next trip. And by the way, if you don't leave here with a vacation, shame on you, because there are plenty of them. This one is to Harbor Springs, Michigan. Pure Michigan takes on a whole new meaning from the picturesque views and the easy living of Harbor Springs. Enjoy this beautiful place from the comfort of your own house in Harbor Springs, Michigan, located in the breathtaking neighborhood of Birchwood Farms Golf and Country Club for a one-week stay in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Bob, let's get this going. All right, this is one of our first group offerings, perfect for three couples, sleeps up to eight, and golf during this season, golf alone is worth $1,000. Who will open up Harbor Springs, Michigan for $1,500? Looking for fifteen. dollars I have two. Fifteen looking for $2,000. Fifteen looking for two. I have two looking for three. Two thousand looking for three. Thank you. Three thousand looking for four. I have three looking for four. Thank you. Four looking for five. Four thousand looking for five. I have four thousand looking for forty-five hundred. Four thousand looking for forty-five. Who'll give me 4,500 for Michigan? Thank you, 45, looking for five. 4,500, looking for 5,000. I, I hear 45. a lot of chatter. You might be talking about your bids, I hope. Here we go, come on. 4,500 over here, looking for 5,000. 45, looking for five. 45, looking for 47. How about 4,700? It's a 4, week long in a house. Get your Thank whole you. table. 47, looking for 49. 47 over here, looking for 49. I saw a hand up in the back, but you're talking. You almost bought Michigan. I have 4,700 looking for 5,000. 47 looking for 48. Full 47 access looking to for the 48. country club, golf courses, 40, thank pools, you. 48. everything. 48 looking for 49. I have 48 over here. 48 looking for 49. 48 looking for 49. I saw a number up and back. Nope. 48 going once, going twice. Sold for 48. Let me see your number again. Thank you. All right. All right. What was our number there? Six, 601. 601. 601. All right. We go from Harbor Springs, Michigan to Palm Beach, Aruba, where you can dip your toes in the white powder beaches and enjoy a three-night stay at the, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but the Ritz-Carlton. In, in Aruba <laughs> with ocean view accommodations. Uh, I actually have been to Aruba, Bob, 
even with you this have. tan. Yes. I burned a little bit, I but I enjoy say. every minute of it. Aruba is beautiful. Three nights day at the Ritz Carlton in Aruba. Let's get this one going. All right, it's South Caribbean Sea off the coast of Venezuela. This is a nice getaway, a 19 mile island. Who'll start us off with a bit of $2,000? Looking for two, now we have three. I have two looking for three. I have three over in the back. How about four? 3,000 looking for four. Four up front. Four looking for five. Five, 4,000 up here in the front looking for five. 5,000 looking for six. I have 5,000 looking for six. 5,000 looking for 5,500. Five looking for 55. I have 55 up front. How about six? 55 in the front of the room. 6,000, will you go? I have six, th five, 5,000. I have 5,500 here. I have 55. Anyone? 56. 56. Come on, stand back up. Stand back up. You have it at 55. 56. Anyone at 56? I have 5,500 bid. 5,500 looking for 56. You want to lay by the beach, you can do that. You want to go golfing, they've got that. Comes with a Visa card. I have 56. $1,000 Visa 57. card, by the way. I have 57. I looked at airfare. Visa will cover the airfare. I have 57 here. Look, need 58 from you. 57 was the bid. 58. It's only another 100. That's it's all a it great is. vacation. Thank you. 58. It's just money. Looking for 59. I have 58 in the back of the room. 59. Now 6,000. Make it an even number. 6,000. Boom. With authority. 6,000. Looking for 61. 61. I have it. 62. In for 62. The bid is 61. Thank you. 62. New bidder in the game. Looking for 63. 6,200 is the bid. Looking for 63. Came out of nowhere. 6,200. 6,500 is the bid. 65. Looking for 68. 65 is the bid. You want to go 60. Was that two as in 67? I have 65 to use for 66. 65 is the bid. Talking it over, talking it over. 6,500. Going once. Going twice. Sold for $6,500. Thank you. Bid 330. From Aruba to the Sugar Tree Club. You enjoy the sweet life. We got a Sugar Tree Club here? Yes, right. we do. This is a local donation. Yes. Two private cottages, two of them, at the Sugar, uh, Sugar Tree Club just outside of Rala along the Gasconade River. It's a weekend stay. This could be a family-friendly adventure. All kinds of things you can get into, whether you want to relax by the river or hit the hiking trails. This is the perfect destination for you. If you've got some little kiddos and Cabo was too hard for you to get to, this is your vacation right here. Floating, hiking, six couples, up to 12, 12 to 14 people. It is drivable. What a getaway for our weekend local. All right, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Six couples at $500 is $3,000. If we can't beat that, I'm looking for an opening bid of $1,500. I have it. How about $2,000? $1,500 looking for two. $2,000 in the back looking for $2,500. $2,500 looking for three. I have three in the back. Three looking for $35. Thank you. $35 looking for four. New bidder in at four. How about $45? $45 in the back looking for five. I have $45 looking for five. 4,500 is the bid. How about 5,000? Who'll give me 5,000 for the Sugar Tree Club? Come on, folks. This is a great getaway. I heard 10, 12 people. That's you split 1, that up. 000. Do the math. This is cheap. I have 4,500 looking for five. How about 45 looking for 40? Thank you. 5,000 looking for 5,500. 5,000 looking for 55. How about 52? The bid is 5,000. How about 52? The bid is 5,000. They're at the same table. 5,000 looking for 52. They're, 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 gonna, they're gonna split it. So it looks like the bid is 5,000. 5,000 going once. 5,000 going twice. Sold for $5,000. Number, can I see that bid number? Thank you, 620. 
All right. Thank All right. You just very a much. few more to go, please. All right. This is. This is it. I get their attention, Brad, because this. All is right, guys. It. I, I've had an opportunity to go to a few places. I've been on some vacations before, and re a reminder of what I mentioned earlier. My wife and I are a great time on vacations when you're bidding for this one. Remember this. Has anybody ever here, uh, here ever been to the West Indies? Anybody ever been to the West Indies? Got more hands than I expected, I'll tell you that. Nevis West Indies. You can experience one of the most unspoiled, charming, little known islands in the Caribbean. And a hotel room would be nice, wouldn't it? Like, that would be okay. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to do it in your very own villa. The Oasis is a private three-story home overlooking St. Kitts. And just a short walk from the sea, you have got to be kidding me with this. Seven days in your own private villa. Bob, yes, this is sir. Going to be great. Seven days, five bedrooms. This is perfect for four couples. So Look I'm, at the pictures of this thing. My goodness. I'm going to give you a few minutes. I'll give you a few seconds to talk amongst yourselves at your table. Four couples, a week-long getaway in a beautiful villa. Are you all ready? Do you have your team ready to start the bidding on this thing? Who will open us up at $5,000? 5000 I have five looking for six. Five looking for six. 5,000 looking for six, thank you. I have six looking for seven. I have seven, seven looking for eight. I have seven, look I have eight, eight looking for nine. I have nine, nine looking for 10. Nine looking for 10. 9,000 is the bid, how about 9,500? You got your own villain, West Indies. 9,000, I have 9,500, thank you. 9,500 looking for $10,000. I'm telling you it's worth it. There's a group went. It was phenomenal. I have 9,500. 10,000, thank you very much. 10,000 is the bid, looking for 11. 10,000 looking for 11. I have 1,100, thank you. 11 looking for 12. 11 looking for 12. I have 11,000. I'll tell you what, I have 12. 12,000 looking for 20, 12,5. How about 12 looking for 12,5? 12,5, thank you. Looking for 13. It's 13. 12 fives the bid, looking for 13. We can get 13. We can get them. I saw in the back, was that a joke or was that a bid? I have 13, thank you. 13, looking for 35, 13 fives, pardon me. I have 13, looking for 13 fives. I'll tell you what, the owner said if we could get this over 12,000, he'd give it twice. So, if I roll this back, you get it at 12 five. Will you take it for twelve five? All right, we have two yes! for twelve thousand five hundred. I need to see your number. Three eight four and five eight three. Once again, just a reminder: if you're looking for a fourth couple, can you repeat those numbers real quick, Bob? Three eight four and five eight three for twelve thousand five hundred. Thank you very thank you, much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, uh, you're working hard out there, Bob. You sweating a little bit? I'm sweating Somebody a little bit. Somebody get him a water. I was afraid I turned around and saw my wife bidding on that at 12000 <laughs> All right, one more to go, folks. One more to go. If you missed on Nevis, this is a great follow-up. Take us away. All right, we have got, uh, why not go to Hawaii at this point? There's a 100% chance I will mispronounce it. It's Waikoloa, is that close? Waikoloa. That's what I said, -ish. Yes, it is. Waikoloa, Hawaii, say aloha, tropic retreat of uh, Paniolo, it sounds like to me. Greens Resort, enjoy a week-long stay from November 11th, 2018 to November 18th, 2018 in your own two-bedroom villa, ideal for a family vacation, romantic getaway, or a golf outing. By the way, this package also includes a strand of Tahitian pearls valued at $6,500. $6,500. So really, we have a beautiful strand of pearls, and we'll throw in a trip to Hawaii. I guess so. What do you think? Pretty generous, I All think. All right. Who will give us $5,000 for the pearls? And we'll throw in the Hawaii. How about an opening bid here. of 5,000? Do I have an opening bid of 5,000? 
five thousand. I have five thousand looking for six. Five looking for six. I have five thousand looking for six for Hawaii. A week in Hawaii. How about fifty-five hundred? Vacation aside, sixty-five hundred. I have fifty-five hundred looking for six thousand. Fifty-five looking for six. Fifty-five in the back of the room looking for six. Fifty-five hundred. Last bit of the night. Thank you. Six thousand. Six thousand looking for sixty-five hundred. Six thousand looking for sixty-five hundred. Six thousand looking for sixty-five. How about in the back of the room? Sixty-five hundred. Sixty-five up front here. Up front. Thank you. Sixty-five looking for seven thousand. Last opportunity of the night. The bid is thank you. Seven thousand and on the other side. New bidder in. Seven thousand looking for seventy-five hundred. Seven thousand. Seventy-five. Thank you. Seventy-five looking for eight. Seventy-five looking for eight. Seventy-five up in the front of the room. New bidder looking for eight thousand. Seventy-five looking for eight. Eight. Seventy-five going once. Seventy-five going twice. Come on, pool your money. It's for a week. Seventy-five hundred going twice. Seventy-five hundred sold. Oh wait, I have a last bidder in the back. Whoa. Was that a bid? Was that a salvation bid? Yes, it is. Yeah. Seventy-five hundred looking for eight thousand. Seventy-five looking for yeah. eight thousand. She's back. Great job. Seventy-five looking for eight. I have seventy-five looking for eight. Eight to you on the far side. Seventy-five hundred on the right side of the room. Going once, going twice. Sold for seventy-five. Oh wait, there is seventy-five. We well, have two bids at seventy-five. I have a first bid at seventy-five. How about seventy-six? I have a bid at seventy-five. I've been corrected. How about seventy-six? Seventy-five going to seventy-six. Seventy-six looking for seventy-seven. 7,600, looking for 77. Oh, you were already committed. Don't back out now. 7,600, looking it. for 77. 76, 77. 76, how about the other side of the room? Have you talked about it enough? I have 7,600 as a standing bid, looking for 7,700. We've just got the pearls paid off. We haven't even done the vacation yet. That's exactly right. 7,600, going once, going twice. Was that a bid or just a throwing of the book? Sold for $7,600. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank everybody. you everybody. That's hey, how big about help. a round of applause for everybody here in this bidding process? And big round of applause for Bob Sheets doing the uh, live auction there. We just raised a ton of money. We just raised a ton of money for the Little Bit Foundation. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, hey, the good times are not done yet. It, it is my uh, honor right now to introduce a, a, a gentleman that I know a lot of you know, but this is going to be special. We talked about the Little Bit Foundation, and we've exactly. talked about the impact that it has had. I want you to hear from a gentleman that is on the board of directors, also the president of St. Mary's High School. Please give your attention and quiet down a little bit for Mike England. Mike England. How are we doing, good? Rose Hanley yelling Mike England to support me after she already got up and did my whole speech for me. So I have nothing left to say. Maybe. Never been without a few words. But it's an honor. It truly is an honor to have this opportunity to speak on behalf of the Little Bit Foundation in front of all of you. And as I always try to do before I make my remarks, I definitely want to um, do some thank yous as well before I get into my remarks and we get into really what is the heavy lifting of the evening. I first want to follow up to uh, um, another round of applause for Bob Sheets. Bob worked hard out there today. Well done. And nobody will probably be here at the end, so it's a good opportunity to do it. Brad Thompson, you're fitting in pretty well, buddy. Great job. Give a round of applause. Well done. I also think it's very important that we recognize we're in 31 schools right now. 
And what's good, 31 schools, that's, 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 it's, it's amazing what we're in. And in those schools, I encourage you to visit. And if you visit each and every one of those schools, you will find schools that are quiet with kids working hard and teachers working hard and a lot of love for the kids that they serve. So I want to thank all the administrators and teachers of the St. Louis Public Schools. I also want to take the opportunity as well, um, again, I say it every year, and, and I apologize for if there's any redundancy to, to, to what I've said year to year, but it's, it's just what strikes me. And the thing that I have that's, that's a wonderful benefit to me is I have a wonderful, beautiful wife, Lucy, who's the uh, volunteer manager of the Little Bit Foundation. And Lucy would not be happy if I did not get up on behalf of all of us and thank the volunteers. Lucy says, Little Bit is rooted in our volunteers. And if you've ever been there, you can see that that's the truth. Thank you to all of our volunteers. And I also want to thank all of you. I want to thank all of you for being here. As Brad Thompson said, this is the largest gathering of the Join the Journey in the history of the Little Bit Foundation, which is a big thing when you think about a lot of the big things that this organization has done. And I say it every year, but it's the way that it is. It's, it's, it's exactly the way it is. Thank you to all of you and congratulations to all of you for being exactly where God wants you to be right now. You are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Because this organization, this organization is a miracle. We sit in the presence of God. We sit in the middle of a miracle that is the Little Bit Foundation. You've got to believe that. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how that is. Rose didn't tell the story. It's my favorite story of the Little Bit Foundation. The Little Bit Foundation began 16 years ago with a coat drive put together by Rose Hanley and Elise Tierney. And they collected 180 coats. And Rose brought those coats to Elliott Elementary School on a very cold February morning. And as she was trying to get into the school with the front door locked, the little boy walked up. And Rose and I always talk, I wish we could find him. And I wish we knew his name. And he walked up in his dad's coat with the sleeves dragging on the ground and the broken zipper. And he looked at Rose and he said, with a smile, my dad let me wear his coat to school today. And Rose said, that's awesome. And they went into the school and Rose went into her room. And here comes that little boy walking across. And Rose took one of the brand new coats and put it on him and zipped it up and said, you look so handsome. And the little boy looked her back in the eye and said, my dad will be so happy. Now he can have his coat back. <laughs> what a story. But at that point, that's where the miracle presented itself. The miracle presented itself right there. And I firmly believe miracles present themselves all the time. It's just that when that miracle presents itself, when that door is in front of you, do you have the courage? Do you have the belief? Do you have the commitment? Do you have the faith to walk through that door? And Rose Hanley, God bless you, you walked through that door. And when Rose walked through the door, she said it, it's been said several times tonight, it was a leap of faith. It was a leap of faith. 
I don't know how I'm going to do this, Lord, but I'm going to do it. And what ended up happening? Everybody else got behind Rose and started walking through that same door and said, we're going to make this happen. We're going to take care of our kids. We're going to take care of our kids that live 20 minutes down the road. We're going to take care of our kids and deal with the things that we take for granted. We take for granted that our kids have new shoes and new socks and new underwear and new clothes and new coats and food and medical care and dental care and eyeglasses. How can you learn if you can't see the board? And we take that for granted. Yet these children in, in, in our schools don't have that. And please make no mistake about it. I teach at St. Mary's High School and we deal with a lot of the older kids and families that have economic challenges. And what I will tell you is this, I have not met a parent yet that does not want the very best for their child, for their son, or for their daughter. They just can't put it together. They don't have the access to it. And they are the people that we are walking through the door to help. We are walking through the door to help the family where everybody in the family shares one toothbrush because that's all that they have. We are going, we help and serve the family. Lucy tell, tells this story. The family of the five little boys. Five little boys with one pair of shoes. And whoever got to put, put on the shoes that day, he was the one that got to go to school. True story. True story. The families that live with no electricity. The families that live with no hot water. The families that live with no home. Those are the families that Little Bit is serving because Rose walked through the door. And I encourage you, I encourage you, any way that you can help. And tonight, I hope you're so generous financially to help us take care of more kids. But volunteer. Come and be a part of it. Come and see it. One of the new things that Little Bit's doing now are these mobile food markets. And they started it this summer. And I went one of the days to Hodgson Elementary and did one of the mobile food markets. We gave out 5,000 pounds of food that day to an unbelievably grateful group of people that came by. There were two gentlemen driving down the street in a pickup truck. And they saw us, and honest to God, they hit the brakes. I could hear the wheels screech. And they turned around and they came in. And they said, do you actually have food that you're giving away? And we said, yeah, here. And they said, God bless you. We were heading out to the woods. We were going to go do some hunting. We've been out of work for two months. We have no food. Thank you for being here to help us. A little bit filled that need. The little boy that Lucy told me about, this was a little bit different for me because normally we've been finding the young men that, that have the, the boys that come in and their, and their shoe sizes are two, three, four sizes too small. This little boy came in, he was wearing a size 10. And they measured his foot and he was, a, he was a, a youth five. But that was all that he had. A little bit took care of him and got him what he needed. Lucy told me a story last week about a young man who came in. And he came in with his head hanging way low, not talking to anybody, obviously embarrassed. And he was embarrassed because when he came to school, he had obviously had an accident on his clothes and felt very embarrassed. And Little Bit was there to save that young boy's day. They brought him in. They put their arm around him. They said, it's OK. This is our boutique. Go in there and pick out some new clothes to wear today. We're going to take your old clothes. We're going to wash them in the washer and dryer. We're going to take care of this for you. 
They sent him back to class. He came back. They gave him his new clean clothes. And Lucy said, do you need anything else? He said, could I have some food? And Lucy said, absolutely. And they gave him food. And she says, one of the neatest things ever. The little boy put his hand on her shoulder and just looked her in the eyes and said, thank you so much. That's unbelievable. And it's unbelievable not because of the stuff. The stuff is the stuff. It's unbelievable because what Lucy and those volunteers did that day is they gave that little boy back his dignity. And they made him believe in a world that wants what's best for him and will take care of him when he needs help. That's what Little Bit does. That's when I get emotional. That's when I get emotional. Stuff is stuff. Rose says it all the time. It's more than the stuff. It's the dignity. It's the self-respect. It's the self-worth. And all of you here this evening, I know believe that. I know you want to be a part of that. I know you're looking to walk through the door with Rose to take care of more kids and to help our city of St. Louis that desperately needs our help. And it desperately needs our help because our kids are not getting what they need. This is about taking care of our kids. These are our kids. We have our own kids at home. We love them, we take care of them, we give them everything that they need. We have our kids that we all, as a part of the Little Bit family, come together and take care of. Those are our kids. And what we're gonna do this evening is we're gonna take care of them the very best that we can. And they will know that they are loved. What is the number one thing that Little Bit provides? Rose said it, love. And I can't think of anything greater than that. So thank you all for being here. And let's put this thing together. <clears throat> so now we're gonna do the work. Now we're gonna try to raise as much money as we can for our kids. And we've got a big goal. Our goal tonight is what we want to raise is $250,000 tonight. We can do this. We've done it before. A few things though, a few things though, please stay with me. A few things though that need to be stated. Number one, thank you to the Chris Long Foundation for the donation of $100,000 to the Little Bit Foundation. I have no idea how many nonprofits there are in the city of St. Louis, but there's a ton, and they picked two, College Bound and the Little Bit Foundation. But what we need to understand, here's what we need to understand. That gift from the Chris Long Foundation is a matching gift. That's right. So when we raise our first $100,000 tonight, which we will, we get our 100 from Chris Long. So that's our first step tonight of what we're going to accomplish. The second thing, which is wonderful news, wonderful news. There's a lady by the name of Sandy Young. Sandy Young is friends with Betsy Schmidt. Thank you, Betsy, for bringing Sandy to us. Sandy went and visited a school. Sandy fell in love with the mission. Sandy said, I want to help. So for your join the journey, I want to make a matching donation gift of $50,000. So we have Sandy Young wow. with $50,000. Wow, give it up for Sandy. Please stand up. Is she here? I thought she wasn't here. She's not? No. Damn. I know. Betsy, tell her, tell her thank you. So here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna call out a number. I'm gonna ask you 
to consider, at whatever level you can consider, being a part of this. But the thing that I will ask this evening is that everyone that is here makes a pledge to step through that door with Rose, to step through that door with the Little Bit Foundation, to step through that door on behalf of our kids. So I'll call out a number. If you can give it, hold your paddle up high, and I'll read the paddle number. After I read it, then you can put it back down. But make sure that I'm the one that reads it, because they're, they're just going off of what I say. Yes? OK. Hold on. Hold on. Give Susie. Susie Andrews would like to, would like to make a statement. Okay, so I don't pay attention to my phone ever at events. Any of you that know me know that. Um, I just happened to look. Bob O'Brien, who is one of our founding board members, just texted and would like to start the bidding at $25,000. There we go, $25,000. So, here we go. Thank you, Bob O'Brien. Unbelievable supporter of the Little Bit Foundation. Does anybody want to start above it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. Why don't we stick in this $25,000 range? We've done okay here before. Would anybody else consider a $25,000 donation to this? Oh my God, two of them over here. Six. 630 and 628. How about that? Thank you, Mike. How about that? Who is the other one? Anyone on the left? Mike Gaiman and Jeff Lay. Jeff, thank right you so here, much, right too. Right here, right here, Mike. Appreciate. Mike, right in front uh -oh. of you. I got another one. One, two, six for $25,000. Jim Sowers, still giving. Jim Sowers, Marco, still Jim giving. Jim Sowers, thank you so much. Unbelievable. 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 Wow. I got chills. Go, try one more time. I got chills. Try one more time. <laughs> try one more time. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else at 25? Oops. Okay. All right. We're going to go to 15000 Would I have anybody in here that would maybe consider doing $15,000 to help our kids? Six, three, five. Six, three, five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Anybody else at 15? I am blown away. I am blown away. Now remember, the Chris Long, we may hit that 100 in a hurry, but Chris Long will give an additional 50,000 for more right. if you win the number of donations. If we right? blow this out of the out of the uh, blow this up like I think we're going to do, there's another 50 that could come our way as well from this with Chris. But we'll so. stay with where we are. So awesome, awesome. We're gonna go to $10,000. Do we have anyone? Well, before this, let me do this. Before I do this at 10,000, I've got another story. Rose Hanley has a neighbor, Dr. Jenny Herman. Dr. Jenny Herman saw on the news that the Chris Long Foundation had given the Little Bit Foundation $100,000. And Dr. Jenny Herman said, I want to help you match that gift. So Dr. Jenny Herman starts off our $10,000 with a bid of $10,000 for. <laughs> Anyone else at $10,000? Matt Bauer, Clayton Financial, 560. Thank you, Matt. Right out front. Anyone else? Bid number 313. Thank you so Thank much. $10,000. Yes, I would. Thank you. Test one, two. Yeah, that's much better. Anybody else? 10000 Awesome. Awesome. And we're just getting started. We're going to go to $5,000. If you could do $5,000, please put your pay. Here we go, the paddles. Got a couple. Here go, the paddles. Go. I love it. One, zero, one. Six, two, three. Five, two, three. In the back. One, three, zero. 
One, two, two. Keep it up. Two, three, six. Uh, two, two, three. Two, one, six. Two, one, six. There's one in the back. Five, Five four. four, four. Another one in the back. One. One, nine, one, nine, one. one. Anybody else? Here's one, three, two, eight. At $5,000. Unbelievable. Anybody else? Anybody else? That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got them all? Anyone? Okay. Did we miss anyone? All right, Bob. We're going to go to $2,500. Can anyone do $2,500? Here we go. 509 in the front. Thank you, Diane. 315. 107. 157. Straight out. 588. 588. Got a whole bunch over 599, here, 599. 220. 451. 449. Nope, no, that's wrong. 448. 448. I'm sorry. 340. 342. Thank you both. One, two, zero, four, one, five, Ken, thank you. One, two, nine, thank you. Anybody else? Amazing, just amazing. Give yourselves a round of applause. Walking through the door. Walking through the door. Here we go. I remember this from last year. Laura Hedegger's in the back. I remember Laura up here. Hi, Laura. I said to Laura, Laura, you ready? Watch this. $1,000. Who could do 1000 There they go. Here they there go. They go. 458, 167, 112, 208, 580, 159, 637, 152, 350, 5, 359. Did I Mike, get that right? to your right. I got that right. 573. I'm Thank sorry. you. 573, 518, 106. 401, 324, 409, 406, 321, 326, 616, 524, 523, 536, 591, 288. That was 530, not 536. 530, okay. Yep. 421, 123, 308. Rose, you're blocking me. 307. 307, 582, 473, 308. Yep, that got you, 470, 307, 476, 249, 602. 180. 180, 219. Over here. 549, Sorry 224, to keep 454, 450, 457. What's that one way yes, in the back? 452. 452. I'm sorry, not 450. No, that was, oh yeah, 457 four, and 450. 480, 442, 348, 372, 370, 567, 569. I'm More in back. 192. 192 in the back. Anybody else? Trying. Spot 465. Spotters, keep helping. You're doing a great job. That's amazing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Almost there. Almost there. Again, we're all walking through that door tonight. We're all walking through that door at $500. Who can help us with $500? Awesome. 515, 519, 513, 104. 109, 294, flip Turn it, around. 286, 423, 424, Both. 174, 117, 118, 576, 357, 557, 615, 398, 622, 624, 531, 618, 500. Um, 491. 491. I'm moving. All right. 540. Excuse Keep me, folks. Up if you can. I'm trying so I can see them all. 258, 255, 178, 431. Excuse me, Susie. Excuse me, Susie. 
And 132. And 132. And 417. And Thank four you. One seven. <clears throat> he did that all with not one breath. <laughs> we got another one over here. I'm oh, sorry. One six. Five hundred dollars. One six one. Thank you. Thank you. That was five hundred. That's all right. Just switch it. Any more? All right. Almost there. Almost there. Be careful using it for a fan on this next round. We are at 250. Anybody can do 250. I'm working my way through again. 466. 511. 395. 411. 407. 163. 206. 353. 276. 366. 364. 621. Thank you. 317. 435, 539, 389. I'm working. We're getting there. Coming 262, over. 597, 274, 228, 378, 562, 270, 595. Five, well, over there, five, one more over my. 562. Thought I got that one. 595. I said that one. Okay, I'm coming back. Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, we're almost there. Almost oh, there. 606. 606. The Thank you. Okay. There's another, Mike. 633. 633. Okay. Any more? Okay. We're going to do last one. Last one, and then we're done. But I always tell the story. She's right here. If we could have your attention, this is it, folks. I always tell the story about Rose's daughter, the beautiful Ryan, who's right here. When Ryan was just getting started, and when you're just getting started and you're right out of college, you don't have a whole lot of money. And Ryan, during the fund and need, gave $100. And Rose continues to this day to tell me how much that $100 meant. So don't think that it doesn't mean something. So anybody that can do 100, put up your paddle, we'll get 100, and then we'll be done. 332, 396, 125, 124, 419, 396, 558, 640, 462, 460, 558, 611, 581, 577, 578. 355, 154, 525, 520, 527, 360. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. Uh, 475, 402, thank you. 342, 532. Sorry. 123. 123. 415. 415. 414. 414. 229. I'll split it with you. Oh, wait, I got some more over here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait over here, Mike. Mike, 553. Five, 553. Five, I got some over here. 270. 270. 212. 215. Got it? 542. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, God bless all of you. God bless the Little Bit Foundation. God bless our kids. God bless the city of St. Louis. Have a great night the rest of this evening. Good night. Love you all. Mike Eaglin, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Mike. What do you say? He does this every year. He gets us all amped up, and this is what we get for it. It's all you, brother. Thank you. Hey, how about a round of applause? How about a round of applause, please, for Mike England. Thank you so much, Mike, and Bob Sheets. And thank you to everybody in here, because I know everybody contributed to this this evening. Uh, man, this is 
This is special to see the hands shoot up like that, to see the donations. Uh, we do have one more item. It was an online raffle. This is for a trip to Seattle. And I don't know who's in on this. I got to pick it? That sounds scary. So you're welcome to whoever wins this online raffle. Of course, it's not like somebody Jones. That would have been too easy. Rob Hosenfeld, or Hosenfeld. Rob Hosenfeld is the winner of the online uh, ticket trip to Seattle. So congratulations to Rob and everyone. Hey, thank you again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this so special. The Little Bit Foundation thanks you. And uh, they are going to do tremendous things here in the future. So check out. We'll be opening up very, very soon here. Enjoy. We have live music outside by the band Boom. The bar is going to be open. Let's have a good time. And once again, thank you for all your contrib uh, contributions to the Little Bit Foundation. <laughs>